Hello Wade Explorer, thanks for joining us and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time here at Wade Explorer, we go beyond borders to bring you inspiring content and also some very educating information. Hopefully you had some time to review our previous videos. If you haven't done so, we will encourage you to do so. Today we shall be reviewing the Apple's Magnificent uh, Engineering Marvels building, which is in Capitino in California. By the end of this video, you will understand why this mega project stamped itself out or singled itself as one of the buildings in the world uh, that people still talk about. Also, we will shine our light onto this particular project and how it realized and where this particular company is heading to. Without any much delay, we will be able to go straight into it. The secular building housing Apple's headquarters in Silicon Valley is so big. It's nearly a mile in circumference, so it's hard to maintain that it's not actually attached to the ground. The spaceship, as the building is often called, is a mammoth example of a technology that reduces earthquake shaking by as much as 80%. While other buildings in Silicon Valley are likely to suffer damages and also be damaged and be non-functional for days, if not months after an earthquake, Apple's headquarters, where we completely uh, realized that the project was completed uh, a few years ago, uh, was being designed to be usable immediately after big earthquakes. The building is one of relatively small number in the United States that uses so-called base isolation technology, uh, which is uh, a modern technology being used for these particular um, structures. More than 9,000 engineers and other Apple employees work in the building, which has its own electricity supply, a vast art room with a variety of fruit trees, including, perhaps not surprisingly, many varieties of apples. Two stories on the ground beneath offices where engineers design iPhones and MacBooks. The building rests on 692 huge stainless steel saucer when the ground shakes, the building can shift as much as four feet in any direction on the saucers. Pictures an ice cube on a particular plate in this particular case. If you shake the plate back and forth, the ice cube slides to stay nearly stationary. Another country which actually used this particular base technology uh, it's, it's Japan. Roughly 9,000 buildings in Japan use variation of the isolation technology. In the United States, for example, the Apple building is one of the only around 175 buildings that use the technology. Paradoxically, the specific based isolation system that Apple uses was designed and manufactured uh, by a company uh, in, in San Francisco, from San Francisco uh, which is uh, called Earthquake Protection System. Most of what the company produces are being exported to countries that are prone to uh, earthquakes, like for example Peru, Turkey and Ecuador. Very few American companies use any particular project or product that is produced by this particular company. According to experts, Apple's headquarters purposely nestled amid trees and meadows stands in contrast to the unremarkable architecture that is the hallmark of the Silicon Valley. The structural engineers who actually reviewed this work in Silicon Valley uh, also says that the area has thousands of cheaply built structures known as a tilt ups that are known to be very vulnerable to collapse in an earthquake. Both workers and executives are often unaware that the buildings are in very dangerous state. A lot of companies uh, that are in Silicon Valley, whether they are startups or established companies, are building from 1970s to 1980 and most of them do not meet the, the code requirements which are set by the states. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The building was described by late Steve Jobs as insanely great. Very simple, just insane at looking at this particular structure. 
The shared magnitude of Apple's new headquarters set it apart from any other technology workspace on the West Coast. Instead of many buildings spread across a campus, the site features one master secular structure, 2.8 million square feet, called the Ring, designed to house 12,000 employees. To get a sense of its scale, the Ring's internal courtyard is wider than St. Peter's Square's in Rome. Its external wall will surround the Pentagon. The four-story glass building designed by Norman Foster seamlessly integrates long as diverse list of technical achievements. From the enormous solar panels array on the roof to be hidden, cables ma management mechanism at the workstation, all according to the particular requirements and the standard that were set during its design. Indeed, this particular building has been set aside with looking at its particular structure and its importance to the world of technology and infrastructure. One of the most significant directives uh, was that 80% of the nearly 200 acre site will be diverted to parkland. In fact, blurring the boundary between architecture and nature became the defining idea for the project. All concrete parking lots gave way to new green landscapes and wooden preserves population with 9,000 indigenous Californian trees, including ornamental and fruits selected to resist drought and the threat of future climate change. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. The question is, how did Apple get to this particular stage? To set this in context, it is important to first understand the fundamental challenges of building contemporary and future workspace, especially for technology companies. Software buildings operate on an entirely different time scale. Software, like information technology in general, is optimized for speed and upgrades, constantly, sometimes radical changes. Buildings, on the other hand, are changed at this optimization to stand for decades. But despite a different time scale, the challenges for real estate executives is not unlike one facing other executives in different industries to make sure that new investment will not quickly become obsolete. Silicon Valley, so to say, has dealt with these challenges for decades, but the unique culture of the region gives its companies a competitive advantage. Throughout the 20th century, the ascent came to trace to geographical location and to keep deep collaboration between tech companies to keep them striving to even in challenging times. Also, in the last decade, however, the time scale gap between workspaces, buildings and technology has widened even more rapidly as mobile phones, social media, and other new technology have allowed companies to quickly reach massive scale. New young tech companies such as Airbnb, Twitter, Instagram, Snap, and also WeWork, among others, operate differently than the Silicon Valley giants. They acquire a huge customer base and receive staggering market value while employing a relatively small number of people. Their business models are fluid. Their speed and drift, disruptive scale inevitably force them to choose workspaces that emphasize extremely flexibility, impermanence, and also ability to be able to reconfigure to accommodate rapid growth. Hopefully, we've been able to inform you with regards to this mega structure by this amazing company in Silicon Valley. If you feel that there is a particular building around the world that meet this particular stage or this particular scale, we would like to hear from you. If you also feel we've left something out with regards to our analysis, I will be happy also to hear from you in the comment section. Without any more delay, we want to thank you very much. If you are new to our channel, we encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. For now, thanks so much. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.